Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Luis and God bless every single one of you. Today is March 19, 2024 and welcome to the Grand Supreme News Channel. Alright guys, so we have some urgent information coming out. If you can, please share this video and it says here United States government is warning states to be on guard for cyber strike against water system, citing ongoing threats from hackers linked to the Gov of Iran and China. Guys, this is big breaking news. Please share this video. Once again, this is coming from the president. Uh, the Biden administration is warning states to be on guard for cyber uh, attack against water system. Citing ongoing threats from hackers linked to the Gov of Iran and China. This information was posted 16 minutes ago. All right, we're going to see what's going on here, guys. And uh, once again, uh, yeah, we talked about how, you know, AT&T, Verizon, um, multiple stuff are being impacted. Even McDonald Worldwide was down. Um, give me a second here. Give me one second. So, so we have this information here too. All right. Um, this was also posted five hours ago from the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency. So disabling cyber attack are striking water and wastewater system throughout the United States. These strikes carried out by countries and lawlessness have the potential to disrupt the critical lifeline of clean and safe drinking water. Oh my. This is like wormwood. Uh, again, scripture tells us that... Uh, uh, again, water will be wormwood, which means bitter or poison. Uh, so as well as impose significant cost on affected communities. Let me go with this one here. Uh, Bloomberg is really trying to charge an arm, an arm and a leg just reading their article. But I will try to get the information. Um, give me a second here. Okay, so this is even better. This is, uh, again, yes, of course it's free, but uh, there's a lot more information on this one. This is from EPA. All right, so once again, um, very important information. I'm going to leave this link on my Twitter page and also description box if you guys want to read it. Um, so it says here, you have the Biden-Harris administration engage the states, multiple states, to be on guard, uh, to be on alert, safeguarding water sector infrastructure against cyber. Posted today, March 14, uh, excuse me, March 19, 2024. So today, March 19, you have uh, the United States Environmental Protection Agency Administration excuse me, Administrator Michael uh, and National Security Advisor Jake sent a letter to all United States governors, every single state, inviting state environmental, health, and Homeland Security Secretary, wow, uh, to a covenant by their deputies to discuss the urgent need to safeguard water sector critical infrastructure against cyber threats. So all governors, even Department of Homeland Security uh, Secretary, uh, very important people receive this email. So this meeting will highlight current federal and state efforts to promote cybersecurity practices in the water sector, discuss priority gaps in these efforts, and emphasize the need for states and water system to take immediate actions. Now, this uh, virtual meeting will take place on Thursday, March 21st, 2023, from 12:30 p.m. to 2:30 uh, excuse me uh, to 2 p.m. Eastern Time. 
Now, EPA will be sending meeting uh, registration information to the state separately via email. I never seen anything like this, guys. This is uh, this is big breaking news. Every single governor has been alerted to be on guard. Um, wow. Wow. Uh, this goes to tell you, and I, it, guys, I post a video about WW3 stuff. I mean, they're really sounding the alarm. They want to send soldiers to the yellow and blue country. Uh, the bear leader said if that happens, there will be WW3. So, um, yikes. I do believe that this is, we are in WW3. We just seen the tip of it. It's just the system data is the one that's getting hit first. Uh, drinking water and wastewater system are a lifetime for communities, but many systems have not adopted important cybersecurity practices to thwart a potential cyber strike, said EPA Administrator Michael. EPA and NSC take these threats very seriously and will continue to partner with state environmental health and homeland security leaders to address the pervasive and challenging risk of cyber on water system. So you have the Biden administration has built our national security approach on the fundamental integration of foreign and domestic policy, which means elevated our focus on cross-cutting challenges like cyber, said National Security Advisor Jake. We worked across Gov to implement significant cyber standards in our nation, critical infrastructure, including in the water sector, as we remain vigilant to the risk and the cost of cyber. We look forward to continuing our partnership with the EPA to booster the cyber of America's water and waste water system. Wow. Please share this video. Um, you know, this is why they, they tell everyone to boil their water. Uh, it's very important. Um, man. Mm. The National Security Council and EPA encouraging all states to join this dialogue to drive rapid improvements to water cybersecurity and reinforce collaboration between states and federal entities and water system. Now, additionally, EPA will strive to collaborate with the water sector and water gov, coordinating council, and forming a water sector security, uh, cybersecurity task force to identify near-term actions and strategy to reduce the risk of water system nationwide to cyber attacks. In addition to considering the prevalent vulnerabilities of water system to cyber attack and the challenges experienced by some system is adopting best practices. This task force and its uh, deliberations would seek to build upon existing collaborative products now such as the 2023 roadmap to a secure and resilient water and wastewater sector and rec recommendations stemming from the meeting with environmental health and homeland security uh, secretaries. These collaborative efforts will result in advances that will better protect the nation critical water infrastructure from cyber attack. For information about EPA security program or detail, blah, 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 blah. Skip that. Background. Disabling cyber attack are striking water and wastewater system throughout the United States of America. These strikes carried out by countries and criminals have the potential to disrupt the critical lifeline of clean and safe drinking water, as well as impose significant cost unaffected communi uh, communities. Mm. Wow. 
as the sector risk management agency identify in presidential policy uh, directive 21 for water and wastewater system epa is the lead federal agency for issuing the nation water sector is resilient to all threats and hazards. EPA and the Department of Homeland Security, Cybersecurity, and Infrastructure Security Agency offer guidance, tools, uh, training resource, resources, and technical assistance to help water system to execute these essential tasks. Further cybersecurity support and technical assistance and uh, excuse me are available from state programs as well as private sector association like the American Water Works Association. The National Rural Water Association and the Water Information Sharing and Analyst uh, Center State Leader. Oh, give me a second here, guys. I kind of mess up on something here. So you have a state leadership and messaging to connect water system with these tools and resources, it's essential to ensure that utilities, leaders, assist and mitigate critical cyber risk. Additionally, Homeland Security Advisor are also a resource to providing links to federal cyber security efforts and access to relevant information about threats, about these uh, threats. Once again, this is coming out from the website United States Environmental Protection Agency, EPA. They are sounding the alarm. But not only they, you have... Um, you have the Biden administration also sounding the alarm. So, Biden administration is warning states to be on guard. <laughs> Guys, I really want to read this article. I Again, it seems like it's going to be the same thing. The problem is, nowadays, it's like they all want to charge people. I mean, people nowadays can't even afford to buy a loaf of bread. There is a big fly in my studio room. Um. Whoa, 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 look at this. Uh, 28 minutes ago, 29 minutes ago, a wastewater treatment plant in Oakland, California, the Biden administration is warning state to be on guard for cyber attack against water systems, citing, this is something new. I just refreshed the page, and all of a sudden, a wastewater, wastewater treatment plant in Oakland, California, What's going on? Hold on. Give me a second here. Give me a second. That information just popped up. Um, come on, Bloomberg. Bloomberg is the only one that is posting this information. It's possible. Yeah, I think it's the same uh, same thing, guys. It's the same news. Yeah, there you go. EPA is lead federal agency to ensure water sector resilience. Letters cite threats from hackers linked to Iran and China. So we did talk about this. Give me a second here. I'm going to find an article. Ah, Bloomberg, Bloomberg, Bloomberg. Yeah, like, a, oh, hold on. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Ah, uh, Yahoo News. <laughs> Yahoo News, I think what they did here, they kind of copied it and posted it on their website. So we have, uh, we have the information. 
We have the information here. All right, so coming out from Yahoo News, uh, the Biden administration is warning state to be on guard for cyber against uh, water systems, citing ongoing threats from hackers linked to the gov of these two countries. So here we go. I'm sorry, guys. I'm going to have to make this a little smaller. Disabling cyber or striking water and wastewater system throughout the United States, EPA, um, Agency Administrator, Michael says, so we already know this. So a letter to all gov, all 50 states, uh, made public Tuesday. So these uh, attacks have the potential to disrupt the critical lifeline of clean and safe drinking water. So we already know this. So this is something that we don't know. So you have uh, these hacker affiliated with the Persian Gov um, have struck drinking water system while a People Republic of the Red Dragon sponsored group uh, has compromised information technology of drinking water and other critical infrastructure system, the letter warned. So this is something that uh, was not in the EPA website. All right. Now, I'm going to leave these link in my uh, description box if you guys want to check it out, along with the Bloomberg article. But again, if you want to read Bloomberg stuff, they are charging, uh, I guess they have the monthly subscription. I have too many monthly subscriptions. I'm not going to open up too much, guys. I mean, nowadays it's night, nice, you know, everything adds up. And uh, nowadays people need to save money. So uh, federal departments and agency assets uh, with high confidence that Volt Typhoon actors are prepositioning themselves uh -oh, to disrupt critical infrastructure operation in the events of geopolitical tension and slash or military conflict. Wow. The water system is an especially vulnerable part of the sleeping giant infrastructure and fraught with weak controls, insufficient funding, and staffing shortages insufficient fundings well again let's give all the money to the yellow and blue country the epa is the lead federal agency for ensuring the nation water sector is resilient to all threats and hazardous so we already know that so it says here in late november uh persia backed hacking group struck isr digital control commonly used in the water and wastewater in the industries and the sleeping giant affecting multiple organizations across several states now bloomberg news previously reported while the incidents excuse me incidents didn't interfere with water quality or supplies they highlighted contentious talks between the sleeping giant gov and the municipal water association over how best to protect the water supply Drinking water and water wastewater system are an attractive target for cyber because they are a lifeline critical infrastructure sector but often lack the resources and technical capacity to adopt uh, rigorous cyber practices, said the letter, which invited state officials to a meeting this Thursday to discuss the threat. So in many cases, even basic cyber precautions, such as resetting default passwords or updating software to address known vulnerabilities, are not in place and can mean the difference between business as usual and a disruptive cyber. All right, so this is all the information. Wow. So once again, guys, um, Letters has been sent out to all governors in the United States. All right. And once again, U.S. government is warning all states in the U.S. to be on guard for a cyber against water system. 
All right, I'm going to keep it updated on this story here. If you can, please share this video. All the links will be in my description box. And uh, again, I want to thank everybody so much for the love and support, either through Patreon or PayPal. Your support really, truly helps out. Thank you so much, guys. And uh, you stay in prayer. Stay in prayer. And uh, yeah, we, again, guys, I do believe there's going to be a lot more to come. Uh, especially with the uh, the biblical war going on, uh, I do believe we are in W W three, and this is just the tip of the iceberg. Again, you guys been seeing there's been a lot of uh, cyber going on, but ain't nobody saying nothing. When I say I'm talking about the one in the spotlight, the leader, he's supposed to come out and say, "Hey," but you know, he's not. It's not saying nothing. It's just everything just, I mean, they're telling him, quiet. Here's some ice cream. Don't worry about it. But behind the curtains, this is a big, big deal. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Once again, for those of you that want to give your life to Christ, you can email me. My email is in the description box. Me and my wife are here to help many and to lead many to the righteous path. And that's the path of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. For those of you that want to send us letters or prayer requests, you can send it to me, Luis Santiago, or my wife, Jessica Santiago, at 3432 U.S. Highway 19, number 2, Holiday, Florida, 34691. Once again, guys, $1 a month Patreon will get you access to our live stream every Sunday. We talk about things that we cannot talk about on the platform. Also, I posted videos today. Those links will be in the comments box. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you all. Put your faith and trust in Jesus Christ. For he's the only way, the truth, and the life. No one gets to the Father but through Jesus. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time later. Peace.